Next to cereal, noodles are one of the most satisfying meals to exist in my opinion. And so I thought, why not dedicate a whole video to them? There's five super easy recipes to go through today using ingredients that you most likely already have sitting around your kitchen. This week, I got to see the printed copies of my cookbook for the very first time. Skip to the end of the video to see my reaction and a little cookbook flip through. Thanks to Squarespace for this week's support. And now let's get into some noodles. This first recipe is really nice and fresh and simple. It's very loosely inspired by chimichurri, which is this Argentinian barbecue sauce, which I only recently learned about. Bring a pot with salted water up to a boil. In the meantime, gather some fresh herbs. I'm using parsley. Chop up the parsley, a small onion, and two to three cloves of garlic. Mincing everything really finely. Add your noodles of choice to the boiling water and cook according to the instructions on the packaging. In a second small saucepan, place the olive oil and bring the heat to medium high. Allow it to heat up for about two minutes. It should be nice and hot, but also not smoking. Transfer the onion, parsley, garlic mix to a large deep dish plate, and then add some white or red wine vinegar, some soy sauce, some chili flakes, dried herbs, agave syrup, and yeah, mix that up. Now pour over the hot oil. Take a step back when doing that since the oil can splash a little bit, so be careful. So this heating up the oil only technique is something that I got from a few different reels and I just wanted to try that out myself. And it worked pretty nicely. The onion is not being cooked through entirely, but I actually don't mind that here. Last but not least, mix in your cooked and drained noodles. Taste test, see if you need any extra salt and pepper. Feel free to add any additional veggies here, such as bell pepper, carrot, tomato, but yeah, highly recommend. This video wouldn't be complete without including a gochujang recipe, I fear. I, I recently got myself a new tub, very excited about that. Also, what? That's so weird that the cookbook that I wrote is just sitting there. I heard it comes out October 25th and that you can pre-order it right now. You need two small to medium saucepans, one for the noodles and one to make the sauce in. Let's start with the sauce. Okay, so add two tablespoons of water plus the cornstarch. Combine both thoroughly with a whisk. Then add the soy sauce, vinegar, agave syrup or sugar, sesame oil and gochujang. Finally chop up the garlic And then lastly, pour in the remaining half a cup of water. Mix all this up, bring it to quick boil, and then reduce the heat to medium low and allow this to simmer and thicken up for about three minutes or until this consistency has been achieved. Feel free to add some spring onion, for example, or chop fresh herbs or baby spinach perhaps. Taste test, adjust any flavors if necessary. Also, why not add some extra toppings? I recently went to my local Asian food store and I got these deep fried pieces of tofu there. Also, I added some steamed snap peas. It's so good. Moving on to these sun-dried tomato hummus noodles. This recipe I came up with by randomly throwing together some leftovers the other day. Chop up some smoked tofu and some, some, some sun-dried tomatoes. Bring a small saucepan with olive oil up to medium heat. And then once that's hot, add the tofu and the tomatoes and allow those to cook for about six minutes. I picked out glass noodles for this recipe. So all I had to do was just pour hot boiling water on top and allow everything to sit for six to 10 minutes or until tender. Now to make the sauce, combine the following things inside a small to medium bowl, store-bought plain hummus, white wine vinegar or lemon juice, sesame oil, sriracha, soy sauce and a little bit of water. 
I, I bet you know what's next. You're going to add the drained noodles plus the sauce to the pot with the tofu and tomatoes. As with all these recipes, adding some more veggies is very much encouraged. I would recommend some steamed broccoli with lemon juice here. These are some creamy mushroom curry noodles. This is another random leftover recipe that I will definitely make more often from now on. We're working with the food processor here to just quickly chop up the mushrooms and the garlic, but that is optional. A, a knife can chop things as well. Bring a pot of water for the noodles up to a boil. And then in your saucepan, heat up some sesame oil together with some regular vegetable oil, such as sunflower seed. Heat that over medium and then add the mushroom and garlic. Allow that to cook for about 6 minutes or until cooked down like this. And then add some red curry paste next. Some soy sauce and agave syrup. Give that another 3 minutes or so and then mix in either some coconut cream, some coconut milk or some plant-based cream cheese or sour cream, which is what I opted for. I thought this might come out tasting weird, but it didn't. Definitely let it simmer for another 3 minutes or so before taste testing and adjusting any flavors if necessary. I had found a squeeze of lemon or lime juice fits really nicely here as well. I had some steamed pak choy alongside that. I love pak choy. What's, what's your list? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Okay, so this last and final recipe has to be my personal favorite. It's simply just the nicest ramen. First, we're gonna chop up a bunch of things. Some spring onion. Leave some of the green part for decorations later. Then some dried shiitake mushrooms. Some fresh ginger and garlic. Bring a medium pot with olive oil to medium heat. First, let the spring onion cook for about 4 minutes. Next, add the ginger and the garlic, plus some chili flakes, and cook that for about 2 minutes. Then add the shiitake mushroom pieces, some roasted nori, mine is wasabi flavored, you guys know, a little bit of agave syrup, some vinegar, miso paste, tahini or sesame oil, a vegetable stock cube and water. Bring the broth up to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer over medium low. Let it cook and reduce for 7 to 10 minutes. Taste test and see if you need some salt or soy sauce or black pepper or anything else. So here I'm adding my noodles directly to the soup um, to let them cook until tender for about 5 minutes. That is super convenient, however, it is very easy to overcook the noodles here. So to avoid that, I would actually recommend that you cook the noodles separately. And then serve it up. As I've said before, adding extra toppings and sides is always a good idea. This has to be one of my favorite things I've ever eaten. I haven't cooked with shiitake in ages and I just simply forgot how delicious these mushrooms are. Like, they're so flavorful, it's insane. I hope these recipes were interesting to some of you guys. Feel free to drop your favorite noodle recipe in the comment section and I might try it in a future video. Okay, now on to the moment that me and a few of you guys have all been waiting for. Here she is. I am, I am so nervous. Why am I so, I'm so nervous. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, can we go? I need to, I need to make some space here. 
this is this is this is this is this is wild. This this feels so surreal. I cannot. What? What? And like the illustrated pages look so good. I cannot deal. Oh my god. Holy. Yes. 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 One of the biggest things I was worried about is that on print, the pictures that I made wouldn't turn out, you know, as nice on the pages, but they look really good. I think, I think people are really going to like it. I remember editing the photos was kind of a nightmare just because of how perfectionist I was being with these, but I, I'm honestly, I'm so glad that I did this. How? This is insane. I have a book. Like, it actually exists. I, I, I love how this book is basically a square. We even included a little illustration in the back here. Every single photo took ages to create. Oh my god, I cannot wait for you guys to see this. As always, we're gonna end this video with a quick little shout out to Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform designed to help you build a beautiful website and grow your brand and business, whether that's for your own cafe, a podcast, or to promote services to potential clients, Squarespace has the right tools for you. Browse their many website templates, which those are organized by different categories. And with member areas, Squarespace lets you monetize your content in a super easy and authentic way now. And they also now have a video studio app that helps you create some really cool pro-level video content that you can put on all types of social media platforms. Give it a try. Go to squarespace.com slash minarome and use code minarome for 10% off your first purchase of a new website or domain. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting the book project. It truly, truly means the world. Um, yeah, and I hope you have a good rest of the day or night. Bye!